Hello and welcome to the Catch a Lift Coaches Corner. I am Cal Coach and Program Director Melissa, and this week I'm honored to welcome Jamie Newberry from Pals to the show. Welcome to this week's episode of Coaches Corner. Jamie, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for inviting me on your show. Um, this is my favorite thing to do to talk about PAL, so it's a perfect fit. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Well, we're excited to hear about all things PALS today. Let's jump right into it, Jamie. Jamie, will you talk to us about how PALS was created and what PALS mission is? Yes. Yeah, so PALS is what is known as a volunteer pilot organization. Um, so what does that mean? We have an incredible group of volunteer pilots, actually um, more than 600. And what they're doing is donating their own time, their own skill set, um, playing all of the resources. And, you know, for the greater good, they are supporting our mission in charitable aviation. Um, back in 2010, our founding members were literally strategizing in a basement, um, all pilots. So, of course, they're passionate about flying and, you know, they're really trying to look for that, that, that purpose and meaning to put behind what they're doing. So, um, the mission was born, um, PALS is a, a 501c3 nonprofit and, uh, we arrange free transportation for individuals requiring medical treatment. Um, we provide veteran services, we aid in compassion assistance. Um, and also, uh, any, you know, like humanitarian efforts, like a, a hurricane and, um, things like that. So 25,000 free flights to date. Um, wow. it's something to be proud of. Yes, absolutely. That's there's incredible. So much, there's so much more to still do. Yes. We, uh, we can definitely, uh, echo that feeling and sentiment, right? Uh, with so much more to do. Uh, that sounds absolutely incredible though, Jamie, uh, where is PALS located or kind of headquartered out of? So um, pre-pandemic, right? Because we're all just getting right. Yep. <laughs> we um, are our, our, our headquartered office is in Farmingdale, New York. Um, so there's there's uh, quite a small team there, just about seven of us. But really, these volunteer pilots that I'm mentioning are throughout the United States. So um, we're spread. We're kind of spread. <laughs> so are you guys serving nationwide, Jamie, or is this predominantly just in your region? So predominantly, we can provide the most services on the East Coast. Okay. Um, but again, that really that really varies because we can have pilots that are on the West Coast. Um, so we are considered national, um, but have more pilots on the East Coast. Okay. Jamie, what kind of planes are used to transport the individuals you serve? A typical general aviation aircraft is going to be... Um, car-like size. So, you know, four, six seater aircrafts. Um, but that does vary. We, we do have a fleet of aircraft. So there are, you know, jet capabilities, larger aircrafts. Um, and sometimes we can utilize our corporate and commercial partners. So, um, have some larger planes as well. That's absolutely incredible. Uh, Jamie, talk to us about who can utilize pails. So we have, we're broken up into a uh, different program. So we okay. have um, our, our medical program, which um, let me just start over by saying anybody. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, the short answer is anybody. Okay. Um, if, if somebody has um, a medical need, um, you know, for our veterans, we're able to service any type of um, medical appointment, you know, if they're looking for a specialized um, center of excellence, uh, retreat, recalibration camp, um, you know, if somebody has a compelling need, this really is a service for anybody. Wonderful. That's tremendous to hear. Uh, let's get into kind of that veteran side a little bit more, if you don't mind, Jamie. Would you talk to us a bit about pa the Pales for Patriots program and what that all entails? Yes. So Pals for Patriots was launched to um, serve our military personnel who suffered um, serious service-connected injuries by transporting them to these specialized centers, um, you know, also helping with those adaptive retreats. We have quite a few veteran partners um, where we're aiding in the transportation back and forth to get to these programs. Um, Newer for, for really it kicked off in 2021 was Warrior Path. So we have um, many different partners there. 
Um, and also we do like morale boosting events. We have partnership with MLB where you get to um, really get some, some special treatment, uh, go to these games, um, meet players sometimes. So that's fun just to do more of the morale boosting right. side of it. Yeah. Um, and something else we do is we'll, we'll connect an individual with a service dog. So we are really, really Very excited cool. for the, yeah, different ways that wow. we can. Wow. That's tremendous. That's tremendous. Jamie, talk to us a little bit about your individual involvement with PALS. So my main goal, and I do this every day, is to build awareness, which is why I'm grateful to be here. So thank you. Um, there's the thing I hear the most is, is people don't know about us. They don't know about charitable aviation, right? Right. Um, so my goal is to just meet as many people as I can, partners, like-minded organizations, and really um, grow this awareness around what we can offer. Um, but in a nonprofit, as you know, yeah. you wear like 5 million hats. Oh, right? absolutely. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I also do a lot with development and organizing um, our events and galas and, and things of that nature as well. Jamie, talk to us a little bit about how rewarding it's been for you individually to participate in this type of work. I, I, I truly am inspired every day. Um, I, I love what I do. I wake up, I feel good about it. I go to bed, I feel good about it. Um, to actually watch an individual, you know, maybe start off in a um, more like a, a dark kind of state of mind and to be able to watch the growth, um, to see somebody smile or take a picture in the cockpit or have this uplifting experience really is, um, an honor. So it's, like I said, it really is inspiring every day. That's absolutely tremendous. That's tremendous, Jamie. Uh, how have you seen, you know, because you've talked about it some, I mean, you just did, but talk to us a little bit more about that impact for the veterans that you've seen as they come through PAL, as, you know, they're able to, to relax either with a morale event or, you know, whether it is, you know, aviation transportation to something that they need to get to. You know, we had um, a veteran, David, David Krause. Um, I'm, I'm sharing his full name because he's done testimonials for us and, and videos. And, you know, he talks about this like outer body experience where um, he suffered so horribly from PTSD. Um, he didn't, he couldn't even socialize anymore. Um, he just lost um he, he lost himself, right? Um, everyone has a different experience. Everyone has a different, um, you know, they've been traumatized maybe in, in different right. ways and they all right. have a different journey uh, and path to get out of it. Um, and he talks about how this, this flight, which was actually to an MLB game, changed him. You know, he, he went to this event and he could hardly say hi to anybody. And he left, you know, hugging the pilot and, and just saying thank you. And, um, I mean, that's really what it's about. Uh, yeah. we, most recently too, we just connected somebody with a service dog and the smile is just, I, I should share pictures with you after because, um, this is what it's about. It's about eliminating logistics as a barrier, yeah. being able to get to the treatment that, um, our, our military personnel certainly deserve, um, and just helping them in that personalized journey. Right. Right. Um, Jamie, I want to talk to you a little bit about how, you know, veterans in general or our catch lift uh, veterans could get involved with PALS if they are in need of any services. Um, can you talk to us a bit about how the veterans would get involved, uh, the application process and what that kind of looks like? Sure. Um, like I said, there's a small office of us and everybody is wonderful. So I encourage you just to reach out. Um, certainly it could be via email um, info at palservices.org. We can, we can throw all this information on there. Uh, give us a call. And, um, typically we ask for about five business day notice. So if somebody's having to travel okay. um, to a hospital or they're, they're interested in, um, you know, attending a camp or something like that, just give us ample notice. Um, and it's just super easy. It's, it's, it's contact general information to get going. And then um, we literally create the itinerary and just make it as seamless and easy as possible. Um, 
but there is a link online that you can request support. You, like I said, you can email or you can call us directly. Wonderful. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, if anyone's listening that happens to be a pilot and would like to get uh, involved with the PALS program, how can they, how can they do that, Jamie? Oh gosh, yes. We love to grow our pilot base as well. Um, same thing, just, you know, you can reach out, uh, give us a call or, or email us. I will connect you with Kirk. He is um, the pilot coordinator and, uh, you know, can go over the details, but um, it's an incredible way to be a part of our mission. So we'd love to hear from, you know, any pilots that may be listening. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jamie, for talking about all that. I have one last question for you today. Uh, do you guys have any upcoming events in 2022 you'd like to highlight with the community? Yay for events happening, right? Right? It's very exciting. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we have uh, an event coming up in Boston. Um, it's called our uh, uh, Pals Above and Beyond Boston Reception. We typically do events in New York, um, Connecticut. So this is the first time we are going to Boston. Um, we provide a lot of flights in the Northeast region, specifically in Boston as well. Um, but I'm stoked to have Travis Mills um, as our keynote speaker. So there's definitely a veteran component to this um, event uh, that's going to be in June. So if anyone's interested, again, just I'd love to share information. Um, and then we'll have a gala later on in the year, which is still TBD. So <laughs> right now, hands on deck for Boston. <laughs> Well, that sounds like a tremendous event for sure. And I guess I do have one more question, Jamie. Um, what is PAL's website for anybody that wants to get on there right away and start looking around at all of your services? Sure. So you could just go to um, PAL's flight, P-A-L-S-F-L-I-G-H-T dot org. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jamie, for telling us about the tremendous work that PAL's is doing. We greatly appreciate being able to put out this information to our community. Thank you, Melissa. It really was, it was so much fun to be on. I can't wait for us to partner together more. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's it for this week's episode of Coach's Corner. We will return next Wednesday at 1 Eastern time with another episode. Thank you, Jamie and Pals, for joining us today and sharing more information about the work that you do. Thank you to ID Technologies for your support of this podcast. Thank you to Lynn Coughlin, Henry Pomper, and Kaylee Nasiri for all of the work you do to make this podcast possible week after week. And we thank the entire Catch a Lift team. Don't forget to join us every Wednesday live at 1 p.m. Eastern on YouTube for a chance to win Cal Swag and a chat with your brothers and sisters. Until next week, keep it real and stay Cal strong. <laughs>